Hi, I'm Colonel Stu Helgeson, President of Valley Forge Military Academy and College, and I wanted to come to you all today with a May update. Well, as you know, May is Armed Services um, Month and many different uh, celebrations during the month of May in honor of our armed services, those who are currently serving, and those who made the ultimate sacrifice. I'm standing here in front of the Eric Fisher Wood Memorial. He is one of many Valley Forge alumnus who made the ultimate sacrifice defending this country and freedom. And we're so thankful uh, for the courage of all Valley Forge alums who have served, are serving, and have made the ultimate sacrifice. Spring is always a very busy time here. We had college graduation, it was awesome. We had 36 cadets graduate, 32 commissioned in the United States Army, and we had one of our own, General Gus Perna, class 81 college, come and be the graduation speaker and the commissioning officer. What a fabulous speech he had, what great lessons he bestowed upon these graduates and future officers, and they were so good, we were able to have him say a few that I'd like to share with you right now. Frankly, my decision was about the discipline, the structure um, that the school brought, uh, and something I felt I needed at the time. Uh, with that said, it was so much more to me, uh, as life has proven. It was life-changing for me, but it was the foundation that was important being places on time, being doing what I was supposed to do, doing them right, uh, taking responsibility for them, understanding that I'm part of a team, it's not just about me. Uh, all those things, it was like a big giant kaleidoscope of things that I learned here, came together, and maybe not the, the reason I made Four Star General, but dang if it wasn't the foundation of my journey to Four Star General. The structure, the, the high standards, the accountability, every day I got stronger. Uh, and by the time I graduated, I was a better person, I was better prepared for things, and I had a lot of confidence uh, to take the next step. So we're so thankful of General Perna and him giving his time and his knowledge and his experience to our class of 2023. It's just an example of another great alumnus, another person who had the opportunity to come to the Forge, learn these five cornerstones, go on and succeed in life, and now is giving it back and paying it back and paying it forward to the next generation. And speaking of that next generation, our class of 2023, what a wonderful group of young men and women. They did outstanding in their two years here. Academically, they had a 3.6 overall GPA. That coupled with just their discipline, their can-do attitude, it's no wonder that some of the best colleges in the nation have recruited them because what Dr. Smith and the team in the college produce, the program they have coupled with the ROTC training, colleges know they're getting somebody who's going to succeed at their institution. So proud of them and I know they're gonna do wonderful things and can't wait to see where they end up in the future. Well, the Academy's been busy also this, this spring. We had a couple great field trips. We had the Rifle Club go out and do paintball at a facility about 20 miles away. The junior class led by Captain Bechtel and Bobby Rosado, they went on a great hike of the Appalachian Trail, took the junior class out there. It was a, a great challenge for them. Teamwork was enacted and uh, they all came back pretty tired. One of our favorite days every spring, one that the cadets look forward to, the staff looks forward to, I look forward to, is International Day. International Day is led by Kevin Bradley every year, not only the international students, but the cadets make food, do a cultural presentation, show things from their country. The part that's most popular for all, including myself, is the food. This year we had over 18 different stations and countries. It just shows the diversity that we have here in the student body. And uh, everywhere from Asia, Europe, Africa, five of the seven continents were all represented with food and, and, and it was such a good time. So thank you to Kevin Bradley and thank you to the parents that helped their cadets uh, you know, with the cooking and setting up their stand. And speaking of parents, we are so fortunate and grateful to have 
our parent company. Our parent company has undertaken a project this spring that I want to talk about and show you. It's the redoing of Kunsel Lot. You know, the awning was fading and ripping and through the generosity of Dean Lascaris, we were able to replace the awning where the cadets get picked up. Also the fence line, totally in need of painting and, and cleaning and Mike Cartel and his wife Tina have led the effort uh, putting in a lot of sweat equity, painting the fence with cadets and other parents. And it's this type of project and this type of partnership that makes Valley Forge so special because we have parents who are committed to believing in the process and helping us uh, get better. And I just wanna say thank you to P Company and for all their support and for the barbecue that they put on for the cadets and the staff last Friday. Well, our spring sports also wrapped up. Baseball had a competitive season and our track team did outstanding as they competed, as both competed throughout the whole spring through some arduous weather in the beginning of the seasons and all the way through. I am happy to report that our track team sent the 4x100 team to districts and they placed third. So shout out to them, all their hard work under Coach Barkley, uh, baseball team under Coach Mike Masella, those gentlemen out there every day training those cadets and, and pushing that physical development cornerstone. So on the topic of sports, I'm standing in front of the tennis courts. You might not recognize they're being transitioned right now into pickleball courts. There'll be 16 pickleball courts and we've leased the, the courts to a company called Dink City Pickleball. Uh, you can read about them on dinkcitypickleball.com. Pickleball is one of the fastest growing sports in America. We saw a way to generate a revenue stream here for the school. The company is renting the courts from us. We will receive a monthly rent check and a proceeds of all sales. Great opportunity. If any of you pickleballers out there uh, want to play, Go on the website that I mentioned, show up to your alma mater or, or parents come, let's get out and play. I myself plan on taking it up. Can't wait to get out there and uh, dink the ball around. So I hope to see some of you here in the future. So as the academic year comes to a close and we say goodbye to the 95th Corps, the work doesn't stop here at Valley Forge. The staff will review everything we did this year, do a hot wash for the 95th Corps, look at things to make better for next year and begin work during the summer. We're also going to have summer camps here on campus, so the staff will be busy this summer and a lot will have a, a, a chance to take a well-earned vacation. I want to thank them for a, a wonderful year. Um, the 95th Corps was shaped, molded, and taught by a number of people and it takes everybody to uh, produce such a great product in these cadets. So I want to, again, thank them. Now, we're about 85 days, give or take, till leadership detail arrives for the 96 Corps, and that's what we'll be focusing on this summer, getting ready for that. Um, can't wait as we continue to push forward and, and move towards the, uh, the 100 year anniversary. 